there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. This is your weather video for Saturday, November 28th, 2020. While today's weather will be really nice, showers and storms will invade central Alabama on Sunday. Very cold air moves in for the start of the work week as highs will start off in the 40s with lows dipping into the 20s area wide. Here's what we got. As I was producing this video at just after midnight, we had light shower activity mainly over the southeastern quarter of central Alabama while the rest of the area was mainly dry. These showers will mostly be out of here by sunrise. Now let's jump into the forecast starting with the 0 Z run of the GFS valid today at 3 p.m. Skies will begin to clear out somewhat on Saturday from the showers that move through much of central Alabama on Friday and Friday night. A few showers may linger along and south of the I-85 corridor for a bit during the morning, but all of central Alabama will be dry before the midday hours. No rain is expected for the afternoon hours, which includes the Alabama-Auburn game. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 50s to the upper 60s from northwest to southeast. Clouds roll back in and late ahead of the next storm system, and lows will be in the lower 40s to the upper 50s across the area. The first half of your Sunday will mainly be dry, but showers and thunderstorms will begin to move into the area from southwest to northeast starting around the midday hour. The northern half of the state will just see rather typical cold front rain and storms, while the southern half may have a strong storm or two move through. The SPC has a level 1 marginal risk for severe storms for locations south of a line from Linden to Selma to just north of Wetumpka to just north of Lafayette. There is a very small potential for isolated damaging wind gusts and a brief tornado, mainly from around noon to about 10 p.m. on Sunday night. Rain will end from west to east during the overnight hours and much cooler air will begin to move in. Highs will be in the upper 50s to the upper 60s across the area, with overnight lows dropping into the upper 30s to the upper 40s. The main axis of the very deep trough will move through central Alabama on Monday. That will continue the flow of much colder air into the area and for the potential of a few flurries in the extreme northern parts of the area and into north Alabama. Daytime highs may reach the lower 40s to the lower 50s early on, but will be dropping into the mid to upper 30s around or just after 6 p.m. and into the upper 20s to the lower 30s by midnight. Overnight lows will range from the lower 20s in the northwest to the upper 20s in the southeast. You know the drill. Bring those pets and sensitive plants indoors and take precautions with any other sensitive vegetation. Tuesday and Wednesday will be uneventful weather days across central Alabama with morning starting off chilly and afternoon staying rather cool. Tuesday's highs will be in the mid to upper 40s across the area and warming up into the lower to mid 50s for hump day. Moisture tries to make a return to central Alabama for your Thursday and Friday, and a brief shower may occur over portions of the area on Thursday. Shower chances may be a little higher on Friday as another trough axis will be digging through the northern half of the state, but all moisture looks to be out of here by Friday night. Thursday's highs will be in the upper 40s to the upper 50s, and in the upper 40s to the mid 50s on Friday. Now looking at the tropics, we have two disturbances out there in the Atlantic, but the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico remains quiet as we are quickly closing in on the end of the 2020 hurricane season. A non-tropical low pressure system located about 600 miles southeast of Bermuda is producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms, mainly to the north and east of the center. Environmental conditions are expected to be only marginally conducive for development this weekend as the low moves northeastward ahead of an approaching frontal system. By early next week, the system is expected to become absorbed by this frontal system over the north central Atlantic. This system is only given a 30% chance of developing into a tropical or subtropical cyclone within the next five days. A non-tropical low pressure system has formed over the far eastern Atlantic. This system is expected to move southward about midway between Portugal and the Azores over the weekend. Environmental conditions are forecast to be marginally conducive for the low to acquire subtropical characteristics early next week, while it meanders just to the north of the Canary Islands. This system is also only given a 30% chance of developing into a tropical or subtropical cyclone within the next five days. 
That will wrap it up for today's video. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.